Alola everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. We're starting things off a little bit different today as we've got the title screen of the game here for the first time, Pokemon Ultra Sun in all its glory, as well as Solgaleo hopping into an Ultra Wormhole down there. Or is that actually Solgaleo? Because I guess he's wearing the Necrozma armor, so I think technically this is Necrozma uh, Duskmane or Dawn Wings. Yeah, those are the form's names, right? I always forget for some reason, but we're actually here on the title screen for a reason, and that is to finally get this Rockruff Mystery Gift event out of the way, and I guess also to show it off for the first time, because we never actually got to show off that title screen, um, although you may have seen parts of it in the intro that I made for the playthrough, but we're going to go to Receive Gift over the internet here. Of course, you just got to connect over Wi-Fi, and there's going to be this Rockruff event going on. I actually don't know until when It'll probably tell us once we find it here, but of course this Rockruff is very special because it will evolve into Dawn form Lycanroc, and it actually says it- oh wait, I guess it's Dusk form. Why do I always confuse Dawn and Dusk? I don't know. Anyway, level up to 25 or higher between 5 p.m. and 5.59. That is a very specific time frame, but we're definitely going to try to do that, so let's receive our special gift, and there it is, a pink glowing orb. <laughs> I guess that's what a Pokemon looks like in mystical data or something, I don't know, but now it's in a box. Actually, a mystery gift wrap. Thank you for playing Pokemon, please pick up the gift from the Pokemon Center. And of course, last episode we left off literally at the Pokemon Center. We're basically getting this rock rough, I guess, as early as we can. Wow, our house is literally right over there. I did not realize that our house was so close to the Pokemon Center that you can literally see Mom's truck. Or wait, actually it's our dad's truck, but apparently our mom uses it now. I wonder where our dad is. I probably will never gonna find out, but we do get to find out that Rockruff is safely in the hands of this man here, and now we've got it. And hopefully we get to give it a nickname here. Oh, it looks like we do. I guess that makes sense, because it's a mystery gift Pokemon. If it was an event one, I guess then you couldn't nickname it. It would be like a random OT, but this time around, we get it ourselves, which means it's our Pokemon, officially. Rockruff, the puppy. Of course, we did use a Rockruff in the original Pokemon Sun playthrough. It was Loba, the female, and oh, I guess we've got another female Rockruff here. You know what? I guess maybe this can be our first reference. I did say last episode, I'm going to try to have some team members... Uh, or I guess not party members officially, but I'm definitely going to try to catch some of the Pokemon that we had in the previous playthrough. And I guess Loba will be the first one and more of an official member, at least for now, because I definitely want to check out that Dusk form Lycanroc. But that is it, guys. Let's finally get to the episode. And if you all are excited, make sure to hit that like button and show your support if you are ready for the trainer school, because that's apparently what we're doing today. It's, uh, what in the world? Wait, what? Oh, oh my! Wait, what actually is going on here? Well, looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. But we were only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me! I seem to have forgotten about that Tauros for a second there, but yeah, he's a little angry, so I don't think we can do anything until we complete this trainer school here. And uh, hopefully by the time we're done with that, someone will take care of that Tauros for us. The tutorials are not done quite yet, even though last episode I was uh, pretty lenient on getting them done. But this is, I'm pretty sure, the final stretch here. Welcome to the Trainer School, the place to learn to be a Pokemon Trainer. Again, I feel like I've pretty much learned how to be a Pokemon Trainer over the last few years, so... A little bit weird to be in trainer school right now, but four trainers! You've got to beat four trainers here at the school. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. And speaking of, why don't you take this? Whoa! The experience share already. I feel like we this was the same thing in Pokemon Sun, but again, I can't remember exact details like this, but it's really early to get the experience share. That's my point. Regardless of what game it is, this is very early to be getting an experience share, so let the lesson begin. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's some that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it in your next battle. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of Pokemon will help with that battle all the time. Oh yeah! Alright! And I seem to have forgotten that we actually have a third team member already here in our little Rotom Dex. I don't know why, am I tapping the wrong spot? Because I feel like he doesn't want to talk to me. He's always just a little 
nervous or something. Maybe he's ticklish and me tapping him is like doing something. I don't know, but here's actually the first of those four trainers, I'm pretty sure. My precious Bosley takes damage, then I'll use a potion. Wait, is she actually gonna use a potion? Or maybe we'll destroy it in one hit and not even give her a chance to use the potion. That's gonna be my plan for sure. Uh, because as she said, she's got a Bonsly, and although it might look like a little tree, this thing is actually the, uh, I don't know, baby of Sudowoodo, so it's actually a rock-type Pokemon. I guess it's literally a, a bonsai tree. Unlike real bonsai trees, though, uh, this one is actually made of rock, and that's why it's weak to water, so it's gonna get kind of destroyed there. And she did actually get to use her potion, too, so that's totally gonna do nothing because of the critical hit, so... Good stuff there, that was a uh, potion well worth it for you, I hope. Youth a athlete, couldn't even say that right for a second. Should have just put tennis player, I mean, she's clearly a tennis player here, but I guess, you know, athlete encompasses a lot of different sports, and uh, I guess not all the Pokemon trainers like tennis. What is that thing, actually? I thought we could maybe put something in there for a second, because it was like the school incinerator, but uh, this dude over here, who I thought might actually be the captain that Kakui was talking about, um, but he's actually not. He's just not gonna battle us until we battled all the other kids in the school. I think he might actually be the, the fourth trainer, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, cause there's only two other ones, but, yeah. Um, this, this whole area here, basically the same as, as Pokemon Sun, as far as I can remember. But maybe the Pokemon that we can find in the grass might be a little different. And speaking of grass, I don't know if these kids were actually here before. Wait. Did I answer that wrong? Was she saying what type is strong against grass? I honestly wasn't reading. I just saw grass and I was thinking about the fact that I really want to get in the grass and try to find some Pokemon right now. So I might have read that question wrong, but I don't know if they might have given us an item maybe if we answered it correctly. I'm pretty sure it's just meant to teach you about type advantages in the game if you don't know about them. But hey, it's an Alolan Meowth. And whoa, Rodom Dex, what the heck? Um... I guess when he sees a new Pokemon, he shows up and warns you about it. I wonder if that's like a brand new Pokemon or just something you haven't caught, because if it pops up every time, that might get a little annoying a little bit quick, but... I don't know, I seem to be dismissing Rotom Dex a little bit too quickly and calling him... Um... Well, there goes my capture card being a little weird again, which is what I used to record this game, and it seems to have disconnected for a second, but that Meowth got kind of destroyed by Disarming Voice, and now we find an antidote right over here, so let's just uh, keep going, because I think there's definitely some more items, and actually there's also a kid over here. I'll show you my Grimer's best move with Poison Gas. It'll poison everyone that comes at us. Wait, this is actually one of the four trainers that Kakui wants us to beat. I did not realize he'd be off in, like, this area over here, because... Oh, whoa, it's actually Youngster Joey! What? And he's got Grimer. I think he had a Metapod in Pokemon Sun, and now that I think about it, he was off in the same area over here, so pretty much this school is exactly the same as it used to be. But I didn't really expect too many changes, to be honest, but the Pokemon seem a little bit different, because I don't think Youngster Joey, like I said, I think he had a Metapod? I feel like for some reason I specifically remember that, because I, I don't know, I mean, it's Youngster Joey, how can I not remember, right? But... Yeah, actually I was talking about him last episode too because we met up with youngster Kevin uh, who loves his shorts and now here we have Joey who apparently loves Grimer more than Rattata nowadays. But I mean, how can I blame a man with the awesome Alolan Grimer? I mean, honestly, I don't I don't really like Alolan Grimer that much, but Alolan Muck is definitely awesome um, with its really crazy color scheme. And I love how they actually like have lore behind why it's like multicolored and stuff. I think it's like a bunch of minerals got in there. And it started growing actually those rocks too that kind of look like teeth. I don't know, I just love Alolan forms actually. I'm just a little bit disappointed that we don't have many new or any new Alolan forms actually, I think, here in Ultra Sun and Moon. But Youngster Joey, you're down, buddy. He's gonna teach us a little bit more about Pokemon as well. What a nice kid trying to educate the masses, you know. Maybe he'll make a excellent Pokemon teacher one day. Because apparently that's a profession as well. So I wonder if there's actually regular schools as well, like, in the Pokemon world. Because this is obviously the trainer school where, you know, Pokemon trainers go to learn. But do, like, regular people, or I guess, like, everyone's kind of a Pokemon trainer in this world. Even the people that are, like, scientists and stuff, you know, they still have Pokemon. So does everyone go to trainer school, or, like, is there also regular school? I mean, I'm assuming there's gotta be. I just don't know how it works, man. In the Pokemon anime, it seems like they never actually go to school. I don't know. Kind of something to think about, I guess. Then again, I think Pokemon, or being a Pokemon trainer is kind of like a profession, like a career, basically, that starts off at the age of 10 already, so... 
Uh, it's a little bit weird, but I guess it's just works a little different from the regular world. Anyway, uh, here we got a little girl with the Metapod, so I think they actually just did a little switcheroo and they gave like Youngster Joey, you know, a different Pokemon. They gave this girl Metapod and I guess overall the school is not really that different. I honestly never, I feel like I actually had a pretty good time in school, like I never really didn't enjoy it. Um, except for homework. Homework always sucks, of course, but I actually kind of like school. I definitely don't miss it, though, so I'm feeling a little bit uneasy being in here. Let's just uh, try to wrap it up real quick so that we can get the heck out of here and move on to greater things. As I've been mentioning, I really want to get to the action here. Actually, I guess the whole first island is kind of still like a tutorial because you do like Illumis Trial, um, and that's basically like an introduction to the trials, but I have a feeling that they're going to switch it up a little bit when we get up to that first trial. So, here we go. One more pound should take this guy down. Hopefully. I mean, we're still poisoned, actually. So, maybe I should take care of Pop Leo real quick. I did mention I don't really want to play too much Pokemon Refresh. But, man, sometimes I can't help it. Especially having Pop Leo for the first time. Such a cute Pokemon that I've never gotten the chance to actually use. So, uh, don't think I want Baby Doll Eyes. Actually, fairy Pokemon in general, ever since they were introduced, I don't really use too many fairy Pokemon on, like, my teams, I think, so... Definitely exciting to have a starter, that is. And I forgot that I actually hit Pokemon Refresh for a second, so... Uh, let's just cure that poison up real quick. I don't think this really boosts, like, his hearts by that much, so... Hopefully we don't get too much affection. The only reason I don't want the affection, even though I do really like my Pokemon and I like playing with them, guys... Um, I just don't want the game to get, like too easy and I feel like once you have the affection you know you get all those critical hits your Pokemon will randomly survive with 1 HP sometimes and like uh, break out of confusion I mean it's actually pretty awesome if you think about it but you know it does make the game a little bit easier in my opinion so uh, we get some orange berries from that girl as well and I hope that was actually the last trainer that we needed to battle here because he did say we needed four trainers and I think the only one left is the kid outside that I said won't battle us until we battle everybody else so I think that's everybody else let's go back outside and check up on our dude and I forgot I think he actually had an Alolan Meowth back in the day um, this time around we found Alolan Meowth actually in the wild so I guess we could have caught one ourselves but looks like you beat everybody else huh don't think you'll beat me the same way Ekans ability is gonna get you oh he's got an Ekans now I don't even know if Ekans was actually in the original Sun and Moon decks I don't think so but Rising Star Joseph has got one He's about to show it off. Not really quite as cool as Alolan Meowth. You know, for a second, I thought maybe there was a glimmer of hope that might have been an Alolan Ekans right there. But <laughs> as you guys probably know, um, no new Alolan forms this time around. Sorry to disappoint if anybody thought, you know, that's kind of a spoiler. But I feel like it's better to break, you know, break the illusion now than lie to you all. Or I guess it's not really lying. I mean, the info is all out there somewhere. You just got to... Choose whether or not you want to find it, I guess. That's that's what spoilers are, huh? I just described spoilers. Anyway, um... Ekans here, just regular old Ekans. I actually want to try out Loba, though, who I just noticed also has Happy Hour, so... This special Rock Rook that we got actually has some special moves as well. Bite is pretty normal, uh, but Happy Hour... I think usually they just reserve that for, like, event Pokémon. Like, I feel like I remember the uh, Munchlax from... Pokémon Sun and Moon that, like... I guess that was a special event back in that game, so yeah, that Munchlax, right when the games came out, had Happy Hour as well, and I guess uh, this new Loba does as well. This Rap is hurting right now, though. One really weird thing about Rap, I feel like every time I get wrapped up, it's like a Rock Pokemon, so the actual move itself does less damage than, like, the Rap damage every turn. I guess that's kind of like Fire Spin, too. Usually, like, the actual move does less damage than the spins, but... Ekans didn't really stand a chance there, even against our newly acquired Rockruff. And Rising Star Joseph is more like a falling star today. Intimidate is an ability that lowers your opponent's attack stat. If you understand abilities, you can use best strategies. Cool, whatever. I can admit defeat. Uh, here you go. Technical machine. Whoa! You actually get TM-01. It's kind of cool how the first TM we get in the whole game is actually 01. First thing to know about TMs, they'll give a Pokemon a new move in a flash. You're up in the creek, pal. Too bad. Something else about TMs. You can use them on a bunch of Pokemon and they don't get used up. Which is actually something kind of new that a lot of people might not know. But TMs were not originally like that. And that's indeed the school bell. Attention all students, would Orange please come to the office? Uh oh. We're in trouble. 
Well, I didn't really do anything. I guess I did beat up a bunch of kids. Maybe they think I'm like the school Pokemon bully or something. So wait, if you like beat up a bunch of other kids Pokemon, not actually the kids themselves, are you like a Pokemon bully at that point? Not really, actually, because getting in a Pokemon battle has to have consent, I guess. So it's a little different from just going up and beating someone up. But anyway, they actually aren't talking to me about bullying at all. Uh, she just wants to battle us. She wants us to prove how strong we really are. I heard about you from Professor Kukui. I'll be battling you with a Pokemon that has a type advantage against the Poplio you chose for your partner. Oh, really? I wonder what Pokemon she's actually going to have. I doubt it's a starter. And I think last time I remember she had a Magnemite, so not really a Pokemon that's strong against my starter. I think back then I had Litten, so... Oh, wow! It actually is a starter Pokemon. She's got Rowlet on her team, and I am suddenly... Wait... Never mind, Rockruff is actually weak, weak to Rowlet as well, so we're kind of in trouble right now. Thankfully, I do have some potions, um, but this Rowlet most definitely has Leafage. It's, I guess, signature move? I don't, I don't know if it actually is. I never really think I looked that up, but I don't think many other Pokemon can learn that Leafage attack there. I think it's only Rowlet's, like, level 5 attack. It'd be kind of cool, though, if they, like, gave it to some other starter uh, grass Pokemon, you know? But we are definitely getting our butt kicked by this Rowlet. It's quicker than us, and that Leafage is doing quite a lot of damage right now, so I feel like right now it might be a better idea to just heal up our Rockruff, actually, and stop wasting our potions. I'm sorry, Navy. You're gonna have to go down already on the third episode. I'm definitely not blacking out, though. I feel like I'm getting deja vu right now of actually blacking out against this uh, character before, but not this time because we've got the secret weapon, Fire Fang, on Loba. And that is definitely super effective. So as long as we can survive a Leafage, we'll be good. Oh my, what? We actually can't survive a Leafage. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. It happened again, huh? This really happened again. All I had to do was use like disarming voice or something and after roasting the trainer school all episode, saying, I don't need this. I'm a professional Pokemon trainer, and this is what I get. <laughs> I can't believe this. Uh, well, I'll be right back, guys. And this is why I don't do Nuzlocks, ladies and gentlemen. The worst Pokemon trainer has stepped back onto the field. That's right, it's me, Orange. Not really, though. I feel like there's definitely worse out there, but I think we're actually going to need to do some training. This is pretty sad, but I don't think I can take on that Rowlet in our current state, even though we're actually pretty high level, or at least, well, it's level 10, so it's really, like, not too much below us. I'm definitely going to need to do some training so that at least Rockruff can take a hit from it or something, because otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen. So this little Grimer will be the first of many casualties in this field of the trainer school. Whoa, look at this! A Zorua can actually be found here at the trainer school. And indeed, that is a Pokemon I've never seen before. Or at least not in a long time. Not never, but it's actually kind of cool. Rotom does that uh, only for new Pokemon. So if you've encountered something in a trainer battle, I guess Rotom won't warn you about it. But it'll definitely warn you about something you've never seen before. And this Zorua is definitely something new right now. And I think I'm going to actually try to catch it. I don't know if I really want to use a Zorork on the team, but... oh. Never mind, I guess, because this is a critical hit with the Fire Fang there. Kind of gonna overkill it. At least Navy gains a level. Oh, actually, it's a Magnemite. Huh. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I like how Rotom does that. I love how I at first said it was gonna be annoying, and now I'm definitely on Rotom's side. I just love Rotom decks, man. It's such a cool companion. And I've just noticed, actually, in two recent Pokemon, or not Pokemon, but Nintendo games, uh, Ultra Sun and Moon and Mario Odyssey, there's actually like a red floating companion. Of course, if you guys haven't played Mario Odyssey recently, first of all, definitely missing out. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch, I, I guess I understand, but you should definitely try to get yourself one because that is a darn good game. But yeah, Rotom Dex and Cappy from Super Mario Odyssey are both red inanimate objects with eyes that float around, I guess is what I meant to say, but hey, here's actually another Zorua, so we get another chance to catch it, I suppose, and I kind of want to catch this little guy just because it's cute. I don't know, Zorua is definitely a unique Pokemon to run into as well. I really haven't seen one since Pokemon Black and White basically went and had one, and I guess he had a Zoroark, not a Zorua, or I guess he had both, but there we go. The Pokeball shakes and catches on the first try. This is actually the first Pokemon we've ever caught here 
in the brand new Alola region too. And I'm glad that it's actually a Pokemon we couldn't really find in the original Pokemon Sun as well. Here it is, Zorua in the Pokedex. And I actually, it would be kind of interesting to train one, but although Zorua is great, it is a pure dark type and evolves into pure dark, so... I don't think I really want to add it onto the party officially, but for now, it's going to be the third Pokemon chilling with us, which is pretty awesome. Enjoy the experience, Zorua, while it lasts. And I think now that we have a third Pokemon, we actually are ready to take her on, so let's give this another try. Good, I heard about you. Wait, I already read this, so let's just skip ahead to where I hopefully don't lose this battle right now. I'm actually not skipping anything ahead, so I don't know why I said that, but... Teacher Emily, it is time for our rematch. Of course, we already know she's got that Rowlet, which can definitely one-shot Loba, or at least it could. I only gained one level, though, so it's not really too different, to be honest. And, of course, I'm not even at full HP, so this is just a great start to everything. I'm gonna go for the Fire Fang right off the bat. Uh, does a little bit more damage, actually. I guess that one level did make a difference. Whoa, that one level made a huge difference! What the heck?! There's no way! Did Lobo really get this much more powerful off of one level up? That is- WHAT?! We even get a flinch? You gotta be kidding me, dude. You know what? We gotta celebrate by ending it off with a bite! I don't know why that's a celebration, but that's awesome! I don't know how that just happened, but that was amazing! Loba, what?! And Zoro even gains a level there, what?! Sensational! That is literally all she has to say about our battle. Speechless. Maybe you'd like to take over as teacher here for me. All joking aside though, I do want you to take these from me. It's a little reward for beating me. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I really thought she was going to give us like uh, I, I don't know actually what she was going to give us. But they're great balls. They're great for catching Pokemon. And better than Pokeballs. And hey, who is this? How about it? Huh? Greetings, Captain Ilima here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You look so very delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Orange, who moved here for Alola from the Kanto region. He's got a real sense for how to use moves, and I think he's gonna go far as a trainer, yeah? I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held in Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Ilima. You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass in Howoli City. Perhaps you'll want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. So there he is, the first Captain Ilima. I reported to the folks upstairs about the Tauros blocking the road. That guy's Tauros is pretty much a celebrity here, you know. Well, I guess it's time that we dismiss you from school, Orange. Finally, we're done with school, everyone. We've completed our lessons. And the fact that the school bell rang for us? Be good to your Pokemon. Try to follow through with those status conditions, too. Good luck with your island challenge. Okay, does everyone have something to say for real? Orange, enjoy your island challenge and be sure to use the skills you learned here. Good luck, future champion. Oh, at least they know already. That's that's good. I bet she won't forget too because I feel like... Okay, this is not bragging or anything, but I feel like she's probably going to be one of the only, if not the only trainer that we end up losing to in this playthrough. Since we've come this far together, why don't I show you some more of the city? Come on, there's lots to see. Alright, Lily, let's go! I'm actually very excited to head to the city because you guys know I am a sucker for some character customization. Orange, over here! And how Oli has got an awesome shopping clothes store thing. You know, I was really impressed seeing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer school. Feels like you're really giving it your all for your Pokemon's sake. I think that's why you're able to save Nebby that time, Orange! Oh, I forgot about Tauros! Wait, I thought they said they took care of it. What does take care of it mean? Oh, uh, guess they're playing with it? I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but... If it isn't Lillian Orange! Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time I get old Tauros back home. Oh, but I've got an idea. Why not give him a little pat, Orange? Wait, pat the Tauros? Do you see the horns on that thing, Hala? Are you crazy? Alright, I guess I'll do it. Pet its face, stroke its mane, or grab it by the tail. Somehow this seems like a terrible idea, so let's try it. <laughs> oh gosh! Whoa! That doesn't seem to have impressed Tauros very much. Yeah, I uh, wasn't really expecting much, but I guess I gotta pet its face. That is what Hala said. Boo! You see that? This rascal already loves ya! Pokemon become happier when we show them some care. 
I like how they highlight that in red too. It's like, use Pokemon Refresh, kids. Or don't, your Pokemon will probably love you regardless. Wahaha! The places you'll go, child. And as you do, you'll surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. The Kahuna sure is something, eh? Able to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Tauros plenty and all, but it is pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. So, where are you two off to now? I was thinking I should show Orange around how lowly a bit. Oh, nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. Orange just got here to Alola, huh? Then let me tag along too. I want to go get some good to eat. You mean some malasadas? Ooh, I have missed myself some malasadas. Although I've never actually tried one myself in real life, but Hau sure has got me hyped up to try one one day. Maybe if I go to Hawaii. Oh, Hau. I guess we should catch up with him before he gets too far, Orange. How Oli's the biggest city in all Alola. Really? I think she's actually right. Because even Mali City, I mean, it's pretty big, but... How Oli is actually pretty humongous when you think about it. And here it is, in all its glory. Though I guess this is actually the beachfront. The city's a little bit further ahead. It'd be awesome if you got to explore, like, that skyscraper you see there. I don't know if that's really a skyscraper, but, like... You know, a tall building. What do you call those? A high rise? I think those are like apartments. I don't know. I also don't know what's going on on the beach here. I know why you love the beach, how Beach time! Yeah! Hey you! You've come to Alola from someplace far off, haven't you? I can tell. How can people tell? Seriously! Those like, ultra recon people could tell too somehow. Let me teach you the proper way to greet someone in Alola. Alola! You give it a try too! Oh, our character actually did it. Huh. Pretty sure he always does that, but I just didn't notice for some reason until now, but... A city overflowing with gentle joy. I thought it was gonna say overflowing with people, but... There don't seem to be to be too many people here so far. Alola, you here on vacation or perhaps a trial goer? I guess I'm a trial goer. Yeah, we moved here. What am I saying? For a second, I actually thought we might have been on vacation or something, but no, we definitely moved here. And this lady will give us a nice free potion. Oh, this lady's actually awake? What the heck? I thought she like fell asleep taking a tan or something, but... Nope, we got an item over here. Pokeball. I guess we're not really gonna get anything too crazy this early in the game, so I don't know what I was getting so excited over, but... Where the heck did Hau go? Didn't this dude just go to the beach? What the... Is he over here, perhaps? Uh, nope. That is weird, I swear Hau just got to the beach and like yeah he was screaming just a few seconds ago so i don't know where the heck he went but i guess he's not there anymore but this guy is felt like there was someone hiding behind the wall and laid right into it with a karate chop after all karate chop makes it easier to deal devastating critical hit so you're not gonna give us karate chop or anything buddy oh wait what do we not have the uh rotom picture mode yet also why is rotom so sad all the time i'm sorry oh he gave us a little heart again Hey, Orange! I thought I recognized the sound of those feet. What the? We were just together, How? What? How did you get over there? How holy something, eh? Alola's gotta be the best place ever to live! Oh, yeah! Hey, Orange! Come in here with me! I've got a good idea of something you could do! Is he literally about to show us the photo studio? Like the thing I literally just mentioned? Miss, is it true you can get some kind of special gift if you have a Rodom Dex? My goodness, you get the news fast! Hardly anyone has a Rodom Dex, but it is true that we have a special item, our very own Pokefinder! So that's what it's called. Awesome! Isn't that awesome, Orange? You got a Pokefinder! So like, what's a Pokefinder? It's a tool that lets you take pictures, that's right. For some reason, I keep forgetting the names of everything, like the Necrozma forms and now the Pokefinder, but that's actually what the... Rotom Dex camera app, I guess, is called. Either way, you're pretty darn lucky. Meet me outside when you're done. Alright. I think I'm already done, though, so can we just, uh, wrap it up here? Yeah, that's right. Wait a second. There might actually be something here. I don't know why, but I feel like this guy might actually have something for us. Or maybe not yet? Wait. I'm listening. Oh, oh, thank you. That's wonderfully kind. You see, I'm doing some research on various Pokemon. I need to record the differences between 10 species, but I've been working so hard my back is killing me. But then you came along. Okay, so he just wants to see 10 different species of Pokemon. Not too much. No, actually, it's pretty easy to do. I feel like we've already seen 10 different species. 
Or does he want us to actually get them registered in our Pokedex, you know? Oh yeah, he says catch. Alright, that won't be too bad though, so I just gotta remember to actually come back over to that guy when we do have 10 Pokemon eventually. So I'm pretty sure we'll be catching plenty more than that throughout this playthrough. Orange, how? Did you visit the Tourist Bureau? How was it? We got his Rodom Dex upgraded. Now I can take pictures too. What a wonderful help you are, Rotom! What? Did he just flash us? Huh? I guess he literally did flash us, but with a flash of light, of course. Go and put that little trickster back in your bag, Orange, and follow me! Enough feasting the eyes, it's time we take care of our stomachs! Oh yeah, that sounds like a good time. Maybe Rotom wanted to get your attention because it wants to take photos with you. I think I'll go stop by the apparel to do some shopping of my own. I'll join you in just a second, Lily, because I want to do some shopping, but oh no! Another interruption! Look what you've got, trainer. Oh, it's this guy. Lucky kid, if you've got a Pokefiner, then I guess I'll give you a little tip. Is it the wall that you literally karate chopped? See that spot? That's a photo spot right there. Wait, I thought this dude said he karate chopped that hole. What? So did he make the photo spot? I don't understand, but let's fire up the Poke Finder and find ourselves a Pikachu. Wow. I feel like this is always a Pikachu for the first picture, but you can definitely find other Pokemon here. I wonder if there's actually different Pokemon this time around uh, in the Poke Finder spots. I mean, I don't see why there wouldn't be, but... I don't know, maybe because it was already a feature that was new to Sun and Moon, maybe they probably kept it the same, but I'm not really sure. Uh, to be honest, the Poke Finder is kind of cool, like actually getting to see the Pokemon up close and personal, but there's not really much to it, like you don't get a reward or anything for taking the pictures, so I feel like it could have been developed a little bit more, but you know, it's cool for what it is, so do you pick out your own clothes? Of course I do! What, what, what do you think? Most people do, don't they? I've always just worn the clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. I don't really know what kind of thing would suit me, but that's not why I stopped you. I meant to give you this, Orange. I received it inside the apparel shop here. I didn't even buy anything, but they said I was the 99,999th customer to visit the store. But I already have the same one, so I thought that maybe you might want it. Wait, what is it? Oh, I thought she was going to give us clothes. I'm like... I don't know if Lily really knows how clothes works then. I mean, she first said her mom dresses her, and now she's trying to give us something the apparel shop gave over, but it's just a lens case. Do a little bit more cosmetic stuff than just putting on clothes, and whoa! Speaking of clothes, look at this Alolan shirt! Yo! This thing is actually looking so cool! And they have orange! I don't know if I really want to go with orange. I mean, I wore an orange shirt throughout pretty much the entire playthrough last time, so... Maybe I'll switch it up a little bit this time around. Then again, my channel is Munching Orange, so I guess I kind of have to, but I'm not going to do the plain shirt, uh, not the polo shirt either. Dude, these shirts are still here. Yes, this is the classic shirt right here. All right, I got to get this one, even though I might not wear it for the whole playthrough or anything, but, you know, we got to get the shirt for the nostalgia right there. That was pr basically the shirt I wore, like I said, pretty much the whole original playthrough. And there it is. Apparently our passport or something was updated, our uh, trainer ID, I don't know what that's all about, but let's get out of here, and that is actually probably going to wrap up this episode, we could actually go get a haircut real quick, I don't think we really need a haircut though, but hey, that lady gave us a free silk scarf, and you've probably noticed all of these stickers around here, or actually I guess we first noticed them uh, last episode, but there's another one right here, and I'm actually going to try and avoid picking up those stickers for now, because there's a whole bunch of them that you can get, and they have a pretty awesome reward in this game, but uh, I'm going to save it for a little bit later, or I guess the end of the playthrough when we can pick them all up at once. Um, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out for those stickers. And speaking of, actually, I think Ilima's about to tell us about them. Greetings, Captain Ilima here. You spotted me sticking up one of those lovely stickers, have you? You did what now? <laughs> I like how the other options like, that's a sticker? I guess it's really not that easy to tell unless you already knew, like I did, but yeah, these are stickers that you gotta collect. They will quite naturally progress along the island challenge. Really, if I had to describe them, I'd say these stickers really save trial goers like you. 
Oh, so they're actually supposed to like guide your path, I guess, a little bit. But there's a lot of them that are really well, well hidden too. So I don't know if they like mean for you to really explore every single building. But that's something that I've always done in like every Pokemon game. And I guess now it really pays off. But I've actually just had a report that Team Skull was seen making trouble around town. I suppose I should go have a look. Well then, young Orange, I hope you'll have a delightful time running around about a search to collect the totem stickers. And we will have a lot of fun with it later on in the game, like I said. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you again for watching. And I guess that's perfect timing because my capture card is acting up again. So that just happened. But that man right there was just nice enough to give us a heal ball. And that is going to signal the end of this episode. So see you guys next time.